Hi, it's Rachel from The Little Ringing Lamb, and I'm not feeling the best today, but I want to really do a catch-up video. So, I have my agenda, and on the agenda today, I'm going to be doing a review of Room by Emma Donahue. Um, what I'm currently reading and in the next three books, which gets kind of repetitive, but I like to keep track that way, and if you guys want to follow along, also, if you want any books moved up so I can do reviews, I can always move them up if you leave a comment below. Okay, so let's start off with Room by Emma Donahue. A quick synopsis quickly would be this book is told in the perspective of a five-year-old boy named Jack, and he lives in Room with his ma, and it's about a size, like I just imagine it as my bedroom size, and she was captured by old Nick, it says, um, since she was 19. And she's basically created a life for Jack. She's taught him stuff. She hasn't let him just be, do whatever he wants. She's taught him stuff, but he thinks everything outside the room is fake. Like, we would be fake to him because he doesn't know us. So, very interesting concept. So, in case you don't watch my videos, I review my books on five categories, which are plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading again very soon. So, plot. I give the plot a 4 out of 5, oh I'm just reading my agenda too, <laughs> a 4 out of 5 because I really like the concept, it sounded like something in the news that you would hear about and I really like how they sort of incorporate that people usually hear about this and like that could never happen to somebody I know or me and it does happen all around us and this book kind of brings you, gives you awareness about it. Not very often this unique of a story happens I guess but it could yeah. happen. And I really liked how they incorporated, they, like, how Emma Donahue really wrote this. Like, I love the perspective of the five-year-old. It's very fresh and unique idea. Usually books are in the perspective of adults or teenagers that I read, so this was refreshing. And I don't want to give too much away, but I don't want to give any spoilers. I really liked the, um, like, how the characters... Um, dealt with certain situations because I don't want to give anything away. So, characters. There's two main characters, which are obviously Jack and his mom, which he calls Ma. Um, Jack is like a regular five-year-old. He's athletic, like he really wants to run around. Well, not athletic, but energetic. That's the word. And he just wants to be a kid, and he's a little deranged because obviously he's been born in this room. Hands him out, so he's not like curious like other kids about outside and stuff. Like he doesn't know that really exists. Ma, I really like because she doesn't stay like as true herself because obviously she can't. She has to fight for her son, but she teaches him like learning, like reading and stuff, which I really like. She just didn't give up and go, oh, who cares? We're never gonna get out. She had optimism when she taught him, and I really liked it. Um, the cover, the cover, I give five to five. Because I really like the decal, decal, I'm one of those words, on the letters. And I like how the colors sort of go together. And hmm, it goes onto the spine, the orange from the R for room. And it was just kept simple because they were trapped in room. And it must have been very simple inside. And the book's simplicity with the crayons, because it's told in the perspective of a five-year-old. And the writing sort of looks like a five-year-old drew in crayon. So I really like that. I thought it was a really, like, true to the book cover. So suspense. Suspense I give 5 out of 5 because I was really busy this week, but I really wanted to read this because it gets so suspenseful throughout the middle, especially um, when you get halfway through, it gets very suspenseful. Near the end, it sort of dries out, but not enough to put it down to a 4 out of 5. Overall, in terms of reading, again, I give a 3 out of 5. I definitely read this in a few months. I'm clear on everything. Nothing was overall overly confusing because it was told in the perspective of a five-year-old. So it couldn't, he can't really be that confusing in his brain, I guess. So, um, I would definitely read this in a few months. I'm not, I definitely will reread this someday, but for now I'd reread it in a few months. So, let's move on to what I'm currently reading. If you've been following my videos and how I have my next three, you'll know that I'm currently reading Libba Brave Beauty Queens, and I'm currently on page 55, and 
it's very good so far. Like, I'm loving it. I just stopped reading it to make this video. The, and to go on to my next three books I'm going to be reading. Just moving stuff over. So, if I pronounce any author's names wrong, I'm sorry. I'm just not very good sometimes at pronoun pronouncing the author's names. My next book is The Lost World by Michael Christian. It's a sequel to Jurassic Park. And it's... It's, whew, sorry, one second, guys. It's about 430 pages, very small print, but the first one was so awesome, and I breezed through it. So this should be the same. My next book is The It Girl by Cecilie Von Zellweger. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's the author of Gossip Girl. And this book series follows um, Jenny Humphrey from that series when she goes to boarding school. And this is the first book, and there's ten books. So obviously my next book after that is the second book, Notorious, by Cecilia Von Zeller, obviously. And this is a continuation to what happens at boarding school with Jenny Humphrey and her new friends. So those are the books I'm going to be... Beauty Queens is what I'm currently reading, and the next three are what? I should have a review on Beauty Queens by probably Sunday, maybe even tomorrow. I don't know how far I'm going to get through it. And I'm going to be doing a book haul very soon. Um maybe Monday or Tuesday. So, see you later guys and thanks for watching and I'll be an I'll just comment below and I'll be sure to answer it. Okay? Bye.